SCP-2326. Item Number SCP-2300 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2300 instances are currently individually contained within specially designed containment units within site. Containment units must not match the composition of the SCP-2300 instance they contain and must be resistant to damage caused by the contained instance's three states of matter. Radioactive instances of SCP-2300 are to be placed in a separate containment area with appropriate shielding. Description SCP-2300 is the collective designation for a series of 98 miniature humanoid figures. Each instance is composed of a single chemical element, and is marked with their respective atomic number on the crown of their heads. Individual SCP-2300 are designated to match this marking. SCP-2300 are solid at all times regardless of the atmospheric pressure and temperature, and exhibit the normal properties of the respective element when in a solid state. However, SCP-2300 can be physically damaged, and separated material is subject to normal melting, freezing, and boiling points. SCP-2300 are able to consume any and all matter, allowing them to regenerate sustained damages if necessary. Material not matching the instance will be ejected from the mouth orifice as a solid mass several minutes later, which will often be passed on to other SCP-2300 to consume. SCP-2300 are sapient and display varying degrees of intelligence, with SCP-2300 composed of elements with a lower density typically displaying greater intelligence. SCP-2300 often group together with others within their elemental period. While incapable of verbal speech 1, SCP-2300 comprehend both verbal and written English. Interviews staged with writing implements reveal that SCP-2300 consider SCP-2300-2, minus 10, minus 18, minus 36, minus 54, and minus 86 to be of nobility, each ruling over the elemental period they are in. SCP-2300-2, considered the highest noble and by extension ruler over the first six periods, often defers to SCP-2300-1 as minus one appears to be the most intelligent of SCP-2300, with a foundation intelligence quotient of 132. SCP-2300-87-98 do not follow this monarchy, instead taking part in a monastic order following the teachings of SCP-2300-1 directly. Testing reveals that, while these instances meditate, they are not subject to radioactive decay, and it is hypothesized that other radioactive instances are also capable of this should they join the monastic order. SCP-2300 often damage themselves to create tools from their bodies to carry out given tasks, sometimes altering themselves so severely that their entire body is a tool for other SCP-2300 to use, thus necessitating other SCP-2300 to force feed them. To instigate regeneration Should the mouth be damaged in a way that prevents typical regeneration, SCP-2300 will attempt to anomalously build a replacement from the leftover material. Newly created instances possess no knowledge of their former self, and must be instructed by other SCP-2300 about their culture and situation. Most SCP-2300 activity is dedicated to the creation of art, which often possess anomalous properties. Despite SCP-2300 normally segregating themselves into small groups, they will often hold gatherings in the form of a gallery. However, there appears to be no preliminary process to what can be in any given gallery, meaning less experienced SCP-2300 are capable of showcasing material deemed unsatisfactory to a majority of their more experienced peers. While works that are universally viewed as poor are often removed from galleries within a small time frame, some are left on display due to the approval of the high number of less experienced SCP-2300.